I'm really beginning to dislike these December crushes, but we gotta get through them. Riding along on my tractor, honey, when I notice you. Hello everyone, Canberra Run here, and welcome back to FM24 with Ipswich Town. Okay, so we are halfway through the kind of the best of December crunch period. We've played week in, week out, or like three, we, we played every three games three days since the game against Coventry and it's starting to take a toll. So the last time we saw us we were narrowly beating Middlesbrough. After that we managed to get a good 2-0 win over Nottingham Forest with goals from Hurst and Rice and Orrington Davis. And Hurst has now dropped his football complaints because I think he's realised he's only ever going to be the backup striker. Hull we also beat 2-0 with two goals from Adebayo. We then beat Swansea 2-0 with goals from Hara Jr. and Lewis Dobbin. This was not as comfortable as you might think. The opening 15 minutes we were really under the cosh. Then we went. We had a horrible opening 20 minutes against Coventry where we were 2-0 down. We were kind of poor throughout the game. We managed to get a late penalty from Yaku Mete, but it wasn't enough. We lost, unfortunately. Then we ended up getting in a really difficult game against Blackburn. There was like there was so many highlights. We managed to get an early lead, but eventually Leon, Leander Dendonka, um, who's now gone from Villa and he's playing for Blackburn, uh, he managed to drag them level on the hour mark, and then the rest of the game we were just desperately trying not to lose, which was very annoying. And then we managed to scrape a one 0 win against Oxford with Lewis Dobbin getting the only goal five minutes from half time. So we are playing Hull on the TV, and we are playing Plymouth. So these will be two interesting games. Hull, by the way, I haven't realised they are now. If I actually left to click it, they're now managed by Wayne Rooney. Uh, they seem to be doing a better job there than he is at Birmingham currently. So, oh, we're the late kickoff. Oh, yes, we're the, um, we're the TV kickoff. So, we are now level on points with Sunderland. We really should be winning this. So, I'm going to quickly do all the opposition instructions. So, we've got in goal, we've got Svila as always. We've got Norwich and Davis, Jamide, Twanzebe, and back. We have Amiri and Ira Bunam. That is how you say it now. Because he made, a, made his appearance with Villa against Man United over the Boxing Day. So, I know how to say it. I watched it live on Amazon, so I've heard the commentators. So, it's, I, it's Ira Boonam. Uh, Dobbin, McAtee, Johnson, uh, Mikey Johnson, because I found, actually know. Can we get Hara Jr. on? Yes, we can. Yeah, he'll be fine. And then we've got Hurst up front. I want a nice little change from Adebayo. So, yes, I know he is. Royce Norrington Davis is coming off an injury, so we'll have to be careful with that. Ugh. Right. Right, now we do need a good result against Hull here. That would be nice. Because Plymouth will be a difficult game. Nice tackle. Oh, Amiri, by the way, he... Um, great style, lads. Amiri, by the way, he's... Um, He's had a bit of a funny thing. He wants, an, he wants a new contract. His agent basically put him up to asking for 65 grand a week, which we couldn't afford. And with some of that, an agent signing on for about 200, like nearly 300 grand. And as a result, we walked away. And then Amiri fired his agent. I'm going to go back in for contract renewals. But at the same time, I might just let him leave. The problem is that he's worth like 20 million. And I do want to be rid of him in the summer. But I still want to be able to sell him. So, because of that money, it would be really, really helpful. Oh, nice. And then fucking McAtee should just fucking pass it. I don't know why he didn't. See, more like that. And then we are level. With Harajuni getting his 11th goal of the season. I've got, I've got Dobbin, Harajuni, and Adebayo all on uh, 10 goals. Or 11 now for Harajuni. We have a very prolific front line. Tell you what, Hull are fucking up for this. Oh shit, what a back. What are you doing? Didn't really look. That was a, not really the best shot in the world, but still, I started to make the save. Uh, I 
Oh, that's really crap. I think probably I'll take Hurst off at half time, put Adebayo on. At least I've got that one. Jesus. I was not impressed with that opening. Oh, for God. And again. How's he done that? Oh, he's flicked that pass. The goalie should have done better than that. Like, Svilla should have come down and grabbed it as the shot came in, but it's fucking, instead, he's just let it go over him. Oh! That was, he's been trying to do that all fucking season, and he's finally done it. And it's cracking. Look at that. Oh, we got a game on our hands, lads. Come on. Tell you, I fucking hold a fight up for this, just like probably Wayne Rooney was in his playing days. Christ. Fucking really? Right. Sigma Santi out of Bayo can come on. All right, and... I don't understand how Makti is tired already. That just seems obnoxious. Though we have played midweek. So that's probably partly to do with it. Yeah, I don't I don't think he's gonna get two. There's no there's no way he's getting two um Two free kick goals. Good header out. Stop them from passing it back in. Good tackle, but that's gone loose. Somebody pick up the ball. Great tackle from Dobbin there. And another one. Nice. Jesus. Just... See, this is what happens when the TV cameras are watching. You get great games of football most of the time. Uh, right, we're going to... That's a good header by Dobbin, but there was nobody really because I should have been a fullback doing that. But whatever. That's really bad from Twanzebi. Twanzebi gets the tackle in, but it's the weakest tackle in the world, and Philogene can just part the ball. That was on back because back should have been covering there, but he wasn't covering the ball. One of the things we are going to do, we're going to. Put Leaf Davis on. And then we are also going to make the switch over. There we go. I've been considering, one of the things I have actually been considering is that, um, so it turns out Matthias Roberts isn't actually that good from how he's been playing. So one of the things I'm intending to do is that I think over the, over the January, I'm going to have to try and get another attacking mid. Because, oh, fuck me. Just jumps over everybody. See, this, this is the thing. We've got a lot of tired legs out there. I think there are some people who are massively underperforming. So one of the things we are going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, last change. Because Jamide is getting bullied out there. This is not going well. <sighs> right, I'm going to have to skip through to the play of the game. I've got a problem now because we're now level with points with Sunderland. This is getting this is getting silly. I have I have a horrible feeling that this team is trying to run out of steam. Yes, I know. Right. I'm gonna skip ahead to the Plymouth game. This is we need a win. We need a win against Plymouth.
All right, it's time to face, face, play, face, face Plymouth. We've got a couple of changes made. Most of them, up to, uh, most of them, knowingly, one of them is in force because unfortunately, Twanzebe is in desperate need of a rest. So he's unfortunately have to sit out today, and we're going to have to drop with Wolfenden in central defence. So we've got Svillard, Davies, Jamide, Wolfenden, back, Dobbin, McAtee, Hara Jr., Amiri, Ira Bunam, and Adebayo. So, we're going to head off into the game. Yes, I know everybody feels that Axel Ponzevi should have been picked, but he's not fit. He's tired. Because every time he tries to get some rest, they call off a DR Congo, and then... Like, he, he literally played through every single game. Going, He went to the AFCON... Not AFCON... Uh, qualifiers for the World Cup, tired. And then he basically played both games for DR Congo and he's been basically knackered ever since. I think that's what does it. All right. So we need a much improved performance from what happened at Hull. At Hull, we were not at the races. That's stupid. That's... I don't think he was offside there. I think they've made that up. Oh, oh! And Ira Boonham scores his first goal of the season that I couldn't even get to see because of the fucking... Oh, no, it's offside. Great. And Sunderland are winning as well now, so that's fun. Oh, and McAtee scores, and that should count. Yeah, that's counted. So we're winning 1-0 thanks to James McAtee. Fantastic. He's been, he could be a little bit better, but he's still been pretty good, McAtee. I just think he probably could have had maybe two, two three more goals from some of the positions he gets himself into. Oh! Adebayo gets in the header, but unfortunately straight at the goalkeeper. <sighs> He played 26 already. Jesus. Well, some people have only played 25. Oh, no, I think it's just Stoke and Oxford, so that's probably going to have to be a game in hand. Oh, no, and Blackpool and Reading. All right, so there are some people. Yeah, the bottom of the tables are looking pretty standard. You've got Blackpool, Fleetwood, and Reading. Watford, Cardiff, West Brom are all hanging around. It's kind of a bit of a normal championship table. Well, maybe the Nottingham Forest who came down last year are kind of stuck in the playoff places where normally the newly relegated teams from the Premier League do tend to do quite well. I mean, look at this season. Oh. Leicester, you know, Leicester, Southampton, and Leeds probably all going to look like they're about to go straight back up. Yeah, they want to give a new deal to the bloody... Prem EPL wants to give a new deal to the EFL, which basically means that the relegated teams get even more money when they go down. Oh, fuck off. Chaplin didn't need to be marked there, but somebody should have pressed him and closed him down. He just hit that from the edge of the box and called it a day. Right, I should do something. I'm going to do something that's probably not a good idea, but we do need to be more balanced because they've gone very attacking. I think in the second half, if I can if I can get uh, through to half time, I'm probably just going to hit them and play attacking myself. Just want to make sure that we don't get anybody sent off. See, that's a waste. That should have been passed back into McAtee, who was running in. Ooh, 
That went all the way through both Adebayo and Maxi and Dobbin was just there to clean it up. There we go. We are ahead again. And Blackburn have equalised. That leaves us two points ahead, actually. That's pretty good. Hey. Nice. And we need to get that up the field. <laughs> and that was on to... Just too high for Adebayo. comes on to Hara Jr. And he absolutely kind of cocks that up, to be honest. Right. So... Bat is tiring. Did I bring Clark? No. Uh, bollocks. We're going to put... We're going to have to be a bit cheeky and put Norrington Davis on there. Uh, I'm sure he'll be fine. Then we'll... Oh, yeah, we don't have Mikey Johnson as well. Because uh, he's injured. Um, shit. Well... This is, all, this is all just fitness now, to be honest. There we go. Going to ignore that. Oh, that's a good steal. Oh, fair enough, he took the shot. Mate, forced the keeper to make the save. Dad, we really should have pressed him into kicking that, but whatever. It's a good steal. Now we need to get that back up the pitch. Nice. Oh. Still on here. And Ferrari loses it. Brilliant. That was a good cutback, but unfortunately they got the block in. Uh, I'm going to change my instructions to cover for the new subs. I do find this stuff really does help doing it. So, you know. Oh, that's easy interception. And then Dobbin kind of just gets himself into trouble by not moving with the ball. Nice. Ooh. Davis can pick that up. Hara Jr. can run with it. Oh, oh what a pass from Hara Jr. Perfect curve for Adebayo. That was beautiful. That's now all three of my... That's all my front three of Hara Jr., Adebayo, and Dobbin all on 11 now over like this, this video. Brilliant. And that gives us the win. Or at least it should do. Gives us a two-point gap as well. So you see, look at that. Plymouth have scored with that only shot on target. One shot, one goal. Two shots. Fucking... I knew the minute I fucking said it as well. The minute I said one shot, one goal, I was looking at that as that they're going to score. Two shots, two shots on target, two goals. Fucking brilliant. Ah, it was a good pass by Troy, but a really poor fucking... <sighs> oh, Leaf Davis there almost getting the goal. Comes out for Ferrari. It's still life here. Ooh, that was naughty. Oh, so they've had three shots, two shots on target now. But they've said, you know, both shots on target they've had, they've scored. So... And both, by the way, were basically edge-of-the-box shots. Seems we really can't deal with those. Oh, they're going for the long throw. Good header out from Traore. And over. Good recovery from Holgate. I 
I'm, I'm sneaking the feeling that they've just gone very, very attacking. And they're just throwing the kitchen sink at it. Now. Alright. So we get away with it in the end. It, yeah, it, really, it felt like at the end they just basically threw everybody forward. And were just charging. See, look at that. Two, two shots on target. Two goals. Especially right after I said it. That, that shouldn't be a thing, to be honest. Two assists for David Hara Jr. We got Dobbin. Yeah, it's 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 the thing. Look look at that front four performance. That's more like it. I uh, I think that's good, but it's it's just not. See, there we go with with Sunderland drawing and Forest winning. We're two points ahead now. It's it's actually getting really really tight in like the top three four positions. Because everybody's got a chance. Because nobody's really dropping points that often. Even, you know, we're not dropping points that often. We're winning quite a few games in a row. Uh, I'm not going to attend this. I can't be bothered. So, that was probably more stressful than it needed to be. But it was a good Boxing Day game. That is fucking irritating. We did not play well at all. Anyway, so... I'm probably going to come back. We've obviously we've got the FA Cup, but we're playing Gateshead. We're playing a National League team, so we shouldn't have that much of a problem. So we're going to come back for what is probably going to be quite a big fucking game against Sunderland. I think we've already played them on camera, but now Sunderland are pretty huge. So we got Sunderland and Stoke. So, fortunately, this the, the one game you want on a Tuesday night, although we are at home. So I think the last time we played them wasn't Tuesday. It was a Saturday, yeah. I really want to do the meme. Anyway, uh, we are going to come back for the Sunderland game and the Stoke game. I am starting to get a hang of this, but I don't know whether we're exactly going to win the title. We should be all right for promotion. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Ken Bear Run, and thank you for watching.